Hi everyone, as I promised earlier, I will upload the next two videos after getting 15 likes. But you guys have given more than that, so I am here to upload the next two subjects. So today we will be discussing about chemistry and physics. So grab your notebook and start writing down or mark on your NCRT. So today we will start with chemistry. In chemistry, we can divide it into three parts. Physical chemistry, organic chemistry and inorganic chemistry. First start with physical chemistry. In physical chemistry, you have to study all the formulas given there like the structures of hexagons and they are corner formulas. They can give maths from them and ideal gas behaviors, the laws in the gas behaviors. They can give the mathematics from the morality chapters like uh, they can give you to calculate morality of and thermodynamics is very very important like you can expect two questions from thermodynamics as well. You have to study all the formulas given in the thermodynamics and their classification of the reactions as well. Then come to organic chemistry. In organic chemistry everything is important like the structures you have to know like the benzene, phenol, every reactions with them you have to study. The most important are the name reactions of the phenols and benzene. They can ask any of them and structures of the chemicals and strong organic acids and organic base like that questions they can ask. Then come to inorganic chemistry. From inorganic chemistry the most important questions came and it covered most of the part of chemistry like Lewis acid and base these are important. Then conjugate base and acid, P block, D block like the periodic table is very very important. The whole periodic table you have to buy heart and amongst them the behavior or the characteristics of the compound included in P block and D block is important. Then the oxidation state of some compound like they can give potassium permanganate and they can ask the oxidation state of manganese. N2O4 these are most asked questions and they can give you to calculate dipole moment of any gas and the chapter of hydrogen you have to study the wavelength like that you have to study. So these are some important topics of chemistry. So now we will start with physics. I will be discussing some important topics of physics from where you can expect some mathematical problems. The physics equations are not very difficult. You have to know the formulas. You have to apply the formulas and answers will come. It is not very tough. So first start with the magnetic field. In uh, calculation of magnetic field, the bio law, then electromagnetic potential, then series and parallel voltage, capacitors, and ILCR circuit, RL circuit, RC circuit and semiconductor forward and reverse biasing. These questions you can expect from that. Then come to Young's double slit experiment. Calculating fringe width from Young's double slit experiment and single slit experiments. One questions can come. Then in case of lens and mirror, the magnification formulas, the concave mirror, convex mirror, how the image forms like magnified or the opposite side uh, image will form and the concave and convex lens magnification you have to know and their uses can come. Then come to heat, you can expect some temperature conversion, Newton's law of cooling and some Carnot cycle questions and heat to work conversions like that questions can come. Then in hydrogen the wavelength calculation like Passan series, Balmer series and E equal to HC by lambda from that questions came. The mass defect calculation, radius calculation of copper, silicon like that questions can come. Then from projectile motion, angle of projection and the maximum height and projectile can attend like that questions can come. These are easy questions. If you know the formula, you can get the answer quickly. Then from oscillations also questions came. The next topic is logic gates. Like logic gates are very easy to calculate. You have to know the basic idea of the logic gate then you will know the answer. Then potential energy calculation, 
half life of a material these questions came in our time also half life calculation after they can ask after why year how much remaining from that material like that questions can come i think these are some important questions of physics important topics so that's all about physics and chemistry i hope i have cleared the topics to you and until then happy study and stay healthy and prepare for your exam nicely bye bye take care